Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger. And a few days ago, I ran a, a really a, a short and I asked you to identify five knives and you would win a t-shirt. Um, I don't think I said it in the video, but I got to hook my um, spring store, Teespring store. YouTube allowed me to hook it up with my um, YouTube account my YouTube channel I think there, when you go to the desktop it shows us up as a tab next to the community tab but I don't know for mobile mobile you'll probably see some shirts below the videos that I run but anyway so I wanted to give away a shirt because you know I wanted to celebrate so um, unfortunately no one, I mean, someone got it. it. It was Jake from Ohio State. And he didn't, he, he just did it for fun. He didn't want to take the shirt. So I'm going to probably run another giveaway for a shirt or a couple shirts to celebrate the store. And I'm working on some new designs for other shirts. But i only have like two designs in there right now my logo and my uh a sticker that i turned into a, a shirt it was a, a wastelander sticker so all those shirts are going to have wastelander on the back of them too so anyway so i'm just gonna show you guys and name give the the names of the the five knives i've shown because i wanted to at least to tell you what the knives were so this first knife is the Civivi Picaro. I like the the Picaro. This is a a big knife by uh, Civivi, and it's an older knife. I don't remember what the when when they designed it, but but uh, it's a hollow grind, and I don't know if they do many hollow grinds nowadays. They probably do. I I really don't remember. I don't buy that much Civivi knives, but it's a bigger knife and it's not a, a bearings knife it's on washers so i i don't believe they release too many knives on washers anymore has a cool floating uh thumb stud and i don't remember the specs on this knife but i i think i did a review on this knife or i i did a a, a talk on it a quick look so this is the CVV Picaro, if, if, if you didn't know. It's one of my favorite CVVs. Next up is one of my older knives. This, this is an older knife that I probably, during my second phase of collecting, maybe first or second phase, when I didn't like really, I didn't have a channel and I didn't know anything about knives. I just liked knives. So this is a, an older CRKT. It's called the Ryan, Ryan Seven. So it's a has a really cool uh, big thumb stud. I I like the thumb stud. I don't know if this is sort of a hollow grind, a high hollow grind, or not a high hollow grind. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a hollow grind. <laughs> anyway. Uh, I, I really dig this knife. I have CV or CRKT started. They always get you uh, tipped down, but it's a it's it's a cool knife. I, I think it's cool still. I ha I think it's so cool. I, I have a uh, four of them. <laughs> anyway, the next knife is the Nemesis knives. This is a Nemesis knives. I don't know if you've heard of the brand. It, this knife is called the Holy Moly. So uh, not, it got a nice, I think that would be considered a, a sheep's foot design. Maybe. I think it's a sheep's foot. Uh, I really like this knife. I really love this knife. This, this is this, uh, comes in a 9CR13 MOV. And it's made in China. But it's, I think it's uh, Rick Haney. I don't know I don't remember but 
It's called the Holy Moly. It's made by Nemesis Knights. I, I like this uh, handle where the, when you close the blade, you can see the handle inside the this the blade inside this handle in this oval and it's a really it's on bearings and it's really a great uh, spidey flicker the next knife is by poltergeist this is the only premium knife in the bunch of the five knives I don't remember how much this cost but it's it's all titanium and it's uh, I believe it's in s35 VN steel it's a uh, I it's a knife that I bought off of um, LTK love them knives because when I got into collecting all this the poltergeist works designs I couldn't get this because I, I could get a like a a budget control but or not a budget control oh I didn't say the name this is a precision 3001 so I I, I, I had a, a budget one of those and I end up selling it when I got uh, this uh, premium version of it and this was released on drop I believe so and it was before I started collecting poltergeist works it was gone so I got lucky and LTK sold me his so again this is all titanium s35 VN steel I really like this this uh, blade is pretty different pretty wicked I don't know for me I think it I, I like to carry this knife you can't I mean you probably could flick it out uh, with this fuller I can't it's I mean I just can't so I just roll it out anyway last knife is the off-grid Cayman I, I believe it's yeah Cayman it's like a lizard or something this has a really cool uh, clip point it's in D2 steel and it, again it's made by off-grid knives this is probably probably the newest knife that I uh, had in the five knives and this is was gifted to me by uh, the shredder knife reviews so I like this knife I've I've carried it a lot but I, I haven't did a lot of cutting with it hence you could see the blade it's not I don't think it's marked up at all I, I think the finish holds up but I haven't again did a lot of cutting on it so I, I leave it on my desk though and I carry it every once in a while so so again i'll probably try to come up with uh some other kind type of giveaway and not be so uh, tricky make it so hard um in celebration for my shirt store being linked to my channel um i don't know what uh, i will do next but i'll do it sooner than later i want to give away some shirts so take care wastelanders yeah I, also i got a new light and i don't think it's adjusted I, I don't think it hits the the table right so i have to work on that hopefully this video is not too bad looking but uh yeah take care wastelander <laughs>